And another question is, um, how do you define the scope of a module? So when do you want to extract something into a separate module? Okay, how to define the scope module? What is the rule? The guideline is keep together what changes together. Separate what doesn't change mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Together. For example, if we have an items detail, items list, items detail, if they are always changing together, if you change the item, you need to update the list and you need to update the details as well. They are changing together. Every time there's a change into the items feature, you're changing both. Then you keep them together. But if they change for different reasons, you want to separate them. So you can develop, deploy them independently. That's a guideline. Keep together, what changes together? Separate things that don't change together. Mm -hmm. Okay. No matter what, how no matter what, how big, how small they are. <laughs> how so? <laughs> Do you mean by how big what the, the module? Yeah. So let's say just one screen can be extracted into one module. So. Or maybe two, two, two screens into one module. So let's say I have items more items list and item details. I can put them into one module, but I can also extract them into you know, separate modules. If they are changing together and you reuse them together, let's say the reason depends on the reason why you broke it down into modules in the first place. Like if you say I'm breaking these features down because I want to reuse these modules in different applications without duplicating code. And you're saying that I'm going to reuse both items and item list details in both applications, then you can keep them together because they are related and they're going to be reused equally in both applications. But if you say, no, one application will use the list and the other one will use the list and the details, then maybe they could be separate. Mm -hmm. Another reason why you would have separate modules in a different structure is if you have feature teams Yep. One team is responsible for security feature. Other team is responsible for the items list. The other team is responsible for the checkout. Then those teams will naturally create modules that accommodate their team structure. Right? So it depends also on the team structure. It's not just what makes sense or what is big, what is small. It depends on how the whole application is structured, what are the needs of the project, and so on. That's why there's no like specific rule mm -hmm. about it yeah. but this is a guideline keep together what chains together so if you're working in a team like a checkout team and you're dealing with the checkout you will keep everything that is related to checkout that you're changing all the time together to facilitate to keep your you fast and productive if you bring things into many modules unnecessarily and you're always like dealing with updating modules and packages, versioning, and so on. You will slow down with no good returns. As long as it's giving returns, that's great. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> yes. don't do it. <laughs> that's why it depends on the team structure, on the project needs, and so on. 